How's it going guys? BB here with my top 10 favourite characters. I know this is a little bit late, but it's better to be late than never. So uh, starting at number 10 is Kotaro from Babysitter's Club. This anime is just so cute and I absolutely love all of the little toddlers that are in this one. I do kind of feel like that this series was made to kind of up the Japanese population, trying to make people think that babies and you know young children are all very very cute and you'll want to have one of your own. It's like collecting babies or something, I don't know. <laughs> but Kotaru is just so cute. I absolutely love his kind of cool, quiet demeanor. And he is just the sweetest, sweetest character. And his little plump little cheeks and round little body is just so adorable that I just want to cuddle it. At number nine is Seichiro from Sanrio Boys. I really did enjoy this series more than what I thought I would. And Seichiro is just so caring and just so so hot. I find him so sexy. I love all of his interactions with all of the other guys and even the little bunny that he picked for his Sanrio character that he absolutely loves is adorable as well. So as soon as I saw him I was just like oh my god he is yes my husbando marry me please. I'm not weird shut up. <laughs> I do feel that he is kind of the background character of the main boys. He doesn't get as much screen time, which is a real shame. I wish that they kind of utilized him a little bit more. But for the most part, even though he is a little bit of a background character, I love him to bits. At number eight is Tachibana from After the Rain. She is just too gorgeous. I love her personality. I feel like that she's a little bit of a geek. She is so cringy at times, but I absolutely love it. She is stunning with her long black hair, and if you look into her eyes, they are just gorgeous. The next time that you check the series out, if you haven't done so already, have a look at Tachibana's eyes. I absolutely love her story and how she is so uncertain about love and life, and I love just seeing her grow. She makes so many silly little faces, it's just too cute, so that's why I love Tachibana. At number 7 is Ai from A Ryo's Work Is Never Done. I put her on this list mainly because she is just adorable guys. You'll be hearing this a lot out of this whole list, is that the characters that I pick are just too cute and Ai is just, oh she is just so cute. Ignoring the whole lolly aspect of it, she is just someone that you want to protect and love. She is like a daughter -o and I can't get over when she goes really intense when she is looking at the board and she is rocking backwards and forwards and looking like that she is absolutely insane. That was hilarious and I just could not get enough of her. At number six is Yuzu from Citrus. Yuzu gets a spot on my list because she is just so earnest in love. While she is a jumbled up mess and she doesn't know what to do when it comes to love and even life, she still stays true to herself. She can be selfish at times and when she is being selfish you kind of hope that she is going to realize that is happening and she does and when she does realize that she's done something wrong she acts on it and she makes things right. She makes me root for her and I absolutely love that. Yuzu is also just a very pretty character. The character designs in Citrus are all beautiful and Yuzu is still up there in my top list because of her looks as well. At number 5 is Sakura from Cardcaptors. So Sakura is here for nostalgic reasons but at the same time I am loving how she has grown into a beautiful young lady. I love how you, have, you can kind of see the fact that she has grown up a little bit, she's still a little bit childish but she is just as cute as ever. The fact that she is a little bit older and is starting to feel a lot more feelings towards Lee and the embarrassment that they go through when people realize that you know they're looking at each other or they're having a little moment is just adorable and I, I just can't get over it. So yes while Sakura is again here because of 
childhood nostalgia, she gets the number five spot also because she is just an adorable character that I love to bits. And number four is Takagi-san from Master Teaser Takagi. So um, Takagi is just a troll. She can be the most annoying character but the most cutest character at the same time. I love all the antics that she goes through with her friend and I just absolutely adore how she seems to get a one-up on her friend all the time. She is just gorgeous, again, too adorable. Love her like big forehead and cute eyes and there is a figure of her that I need in my life because it is just, it resonates her. It is so cute. And she gets the spot because she is such a trolly little cow. Now onto the top three. Aiko from Slow Start gets number three. She gets this spot mainly because she is funny, gorgeous, and a little bit of a shit stirrer to her teacher. I love the interactions with her and her teacher. It's almost, it's, it's kind of weird at the same time because it slightly seems like that she's trying to hit on her teacher and the teacher isn't reciprocating but she thinks that you know she's poking fun that interaction made me fall in love with Aiko I also love just the way that she treats her friends and again she is another gorgeous character from this season so Aiko is definitely up there for her personality her looks and she is just amazing. My number two spot is a little bit different. This character is not a human. It is a mummy. That's right, it's Mikun from How to Raise a Mummy. Mikun is just the antipathis. Antipathis? And antipathis. It's really cute. Mikun is just adorable. I absolutely love this puny little mummy. I love it when it starts to cry because it doesn't get its own way and how it doesn't talk, it just kind of makes little noises and oh, I, I need a nendoroid of this little thing, it is just too cute. So yeah, it gets the number two spot because of its adorableness. And my number one absolute favourite character from the spring season was Nagi from Idolish 7. Nagi is just hilarious and I love his voice oh my god the way that he speaks where it's kind of half English half Japanese along with a really really odd accent is just so hot I don't know what it is about that accent but I love it he is sexy and oh I can't get over how amazing he is. He is definitely now in my husbando list. I'm going to have to update that list at some point so look forward to that video. But yeah, he gets the number one spot for looks, personality, accent and just everything. So there you go guys, that was my top 10 list of characters. So who are your favourite characters? Leave your top 10 down in the comments below, I look forward to reading them all. While you're there please make sure to give this video a big like and share it out to all your friends, I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Go down to the description below to check out all of my social media links and I now have both a Ko-Fi and a Patreon. If you want to do one-off donations just to help out the channel a little bit, you can find that link down there. Or if you want to become a patron, just like Mark Hall, Bernard, Bear, or Linwood, you can find that link down there to become a biblioteer. So from all you to make you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!